Hi, uh, in this video, uh, let us solve one problem on uh, hexagonal pyramid. Uh, hexagonal pyramid, 25 mm sides of base and 50 mm axis length. Rest on HP on one of its edges of the base. Draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis is inclined to HP at 45 degree and inclined to VP at 30 degree. Okay, here, uh, the type of pyramid is hexagonal pyramid. Uh, the dimension is given, that is 25 uh, is side dimension and the axis length is the 50 mm. Now it is resting on HP. Uh, therefore, we're going to draw the top view first. Okay, that will be the true shape. And uh, one more condition is it is resting with one of its edges. Therefore, we're going to keep the edge towards the right. Uh, for second stage, uh, we have a theta angle that is 45 degree. Uh, for third stage, we have psi angle. That is inclination with respect to VP that is 30 degree. Okay, since the axis of the pyramid is inclined to VP, okay, this is beta angle problem. Okay, now let us solve. First, I'm going to draw XY line or to line command. Continuous line, thickness 0 0.13 mm. Okay, draw XY line. Okay, now naming, go to text option. Okay, here I'm going to choose times new Roman and size is 3.50 mm. Okay, name this. Okay, this is capital X. Okay, this is capital Y. Okay, and we're going to solve this problem in first quadrant. Okay, we'll be having a VP vertical plane above XY line and HP below XY line. Okay, now uh, first we are going to draw the top view. The top view looks like uh, hexagon. Okay, go to application, uh, macros, run macros. Okay, choose inside polygon. Okay, here choose flat length. Okay, the dimension is uh, 25 mm. Okay, number of side is six. Okay, minimize this. Okay, click somewhere on the sheet. Okay, now select the entire hexagon and change the thickness to 0 0.50 mm. Okay, since this problem, uh, this pyramid is resting with one of its edge. Okay, I'm going to keep the edge towards right. Okay, now we need to draw the diagonals. Go to line command. Okay, thickness uh, 0 0.50 mm. Okay, draw the diagonals in order to get the, the center point. Okay, now we have to name. Okay, go to text option. Okay, I'm going to name this corner as A. Okay, this as B. Okay, this as uh, C. Okay, this as D. Okay, this corner E. This corner F. Okay, all corners are visible if you view this hexagonal pyramid from the top side. Okay, here O is visible, whereas uh, O1 is not visible. You now draw the projection lines to get the front view. Change the thickness to 0 0.13 mm. Okay, from corner E to XY line, from corner F to XY line, from corner A to XY line. Okay, now we know that uh, the axis length is uh, 50 mm. First, draw the axis line, go to line command. Okay, here, uh, here. Uh, o to C is a visible line. Therefore, I'm going to choose uh, the continuous line, thickness 0.50 mm. Okay, from end point of this projection line, okay, the length is uh, 50 mm. That is axis length 50 center. Okay, angle should be 90 degree. Okay, now join okay, from here to the end point of first projection line. Okay, from end point of first projection line to the end point of second projection line. Okay, next. Uh, from end point of second projection line to end point of third projection line, okay, from here to again the apex point. Okay, now naming. Okay, here B is visible. Okay, if you view this hexagonal pyramid from the front side, B is visible, A is invisible. Okay, therefore, this is B dash in bracket uh, A dash. Okay, here C is visible, whereas uh, O1 and F is uh, invisible. Therefore, C dash in bracket. Uh, F dash, okay, in bracket, O1 dash. Okay, here, D is visible, therefore, D dash, in bracket, E dash. Okay, the apex point that is visible, that is O dash. Okay, if you want, I can show the dimension. The axis length is 50 mm and dimension of this hexagon is 25 mm. Okay, now stage one is completed. Now stage two, okay, the axis of this hexagonal pyramid is inclined to HP at an angle of 45 degree. Okay, go to select option, select the entire front view from stage one. Now go to move option, okay, switch on this copy command. Okay, select 
open corner okay place it somewhere on the xy line okay now go to rotate option first select the fixed point then select the opposite side that is the movable point okay, the rotation angle is 90 minus theta okay 90 minus 45 is 45 45 okay switch off the copy command enter okay now choose the direction okay now we have to draw the projection lines to get the top view in stage 2. Okay, go to line command, continuous line, thickness 0 0.13 mm. Okay, I'll start from A. Okay, let's choose the end point. From that end point, till here, till it intersect uh, the B line. Okay, this is uh, corner B. Okay, now A to A. Okay, this is corner A. Similarly, next C and F we have. Okay, here you can extend the line, extend this line and show the angle. The angle should be 45 degree. Okay, now. From C to C. This point is C. Next, F to F. This point is F. Next, E to E. Okay, this is E. This corner is D. Okay, next, O to O. Here we have O. Can remove the extra lines. Okay, this is apex O. Okay, now okay. Uh, again, I'm going to the same strategy. First, I'm going to connect all the boundary points by using visible line. Okay, start from O, C O to E F, F to E, E to D, D to C, C to O. Okay, first connect all the boundary point by using uh, visible line. Okay, now okay, this is top view. Now we are going to say this uh, the front view that is stage two diagram from the top side. You can see uh, the lower surface is away from the viewer. Therefore, it is not visible. Therefore, we are going to connect by using dash line. Okay, change the line type to dash. Thickness 0 0.50 mm. Okay, already E to F, E to D and D to Z is already connected. Okay, don't touch that line. The remaining lines are F to A, A to B, B to C. Okay, here you can see. Uh, o to D and O to E, okay, is nearer to the viewer, okay. Since it is nearer to the viewer, it is visible. Therefore, I'm going to connect by using visible line. That is O to D and O to E from O to D and O to E, okay. Uh, this O to B and O to E is away from the viewer. Therefore, it is invisible. I'm going to connect by using dash line okay, from A to O. Similarly, from point B to O. Okay, this is stage two. Uh, since this is beta angle problem, we need the upper end length. That is the distance between O and O1. We want, okay, I'm going to measure that. Okay, this is O. Uh, this is uh, O1. Okay, I can connect by using the uh, axis line. Okay, I'm going to trim this. I'm going to draw one more line. I okay, choose line type as uh, axis line that is long dash short dash line okay now connect okay now find the distance from o to o1 okay the upper end length is 35.36 uh, mm okay now for third stage i'm going to draw one line which is uh, parallel to xy line Okay, from this point, I'm going to draw one line which makes an angle of uh, 30 degree. 
Yeah, change it to 30. Okay. Okay, now we have to find out the beta angle. Okay, the procedure to find out beta angle is first I'm going to cut an R by taking true length as a radius. Okay, the true length is axis length that is 50 mm. Okay, go to R by center point method. Choose any one reference point. Okay, the radius is the true length that is axis length 50 mm. Enter, cut an arc. Okay, now from that intersection point, we have to draw one uh, locus line. Okay, again, have to cut one more arc on this locus line by taking upper end length as a radius. Go to arc by center point method. Okay, choose the same reference point. Okay, here this is not highlighting. Okay, go to the first arc. Okay, we will see that the plus mark. Okay, from the same reference point, we have to cut uh, the arc. Okay, now the radius is upper end length. That is 35.36 mm. Enter, cut an arc on the locus line. Okay, now join. Go to line command. Continuous line thickness 0 0.13 mm. First, choose uh, the intersection point. Okay, zoom that area. I should get that intersection symbol from that point to okay, the reference point. Okay, now extend that line. Okay, now measure the angle. You see the angle is 45 degree. Okay, that is beta angle. Okay, now we have to place the top view of stage 2 diagram okay, over this beta angle line. Okay, now zoom only this area. Okay, now select the top view of stage 2 diagram. Okay, now go to move option. Okay, select corner wall that is apex point. Okay, switch on the copy command. Okay, we have to place the intersection. Okay, you should see that uh, the intersection symbol. Okay, place it. Okay, now go to rotate option. Switch off the copy command. Okay, I'm going to choose O as a fixed point. O1 as movable point. Okay, place it on that beta line. Okay, this is top view in stage three. Okay, now we have to draw the front view in stage three. Okay, in order to get that, uh, draw the projection line, go to line command, continuous line, thickness 0 0.13 mm. Okay, I'll start from A. Okay, okay A to A. This is uh, A dash. Next, B to B. Okay, B is also on the XY line. Okay, this is uh, B dash. Next, C to C. Okay, this is C. Name that corner as C dash. Next D to D. Okay, this is uh, D dash. Next E to E. Okay, this is E dash. Next, O to O. Okay, this is O dash. Okay, now again, connect all the boundary points by using a visible line, that is thick line. You can see I'll start from O. Okay, O dash to V dash. Okay, we have missed one more point, that is F dash. Thickness 0 0.13 mm. Okay, we have a fear. Okay, this is F dash. Okay, now connect all the boundary point by using visible line. Okay, from E dash to F dash, F dash to A dash, A dash to B dash, B dash to Dash. Okay, now this is front view. Okay, if you view this uh, the top view diagram from the front side, uh, 
the surface that is hexagon that is a b c d a f is nearest to the viewer therefore it's completely visible therefore i'm going to connect the lower surface by using visible line okay connect okay from uh, b dash to c dash c dash to t dash uh, d dash to e dash okay now we can see uh, o to d and uh, Okay, this uh, O to F and O to A uh, is away from the viewer, correct? No? Therefore, it is invisible. Therefore, I'm going to connect by using the dash line. Okay, O to F and O to A. Okay, here O to F and O to A is away from the viewer. Therefore, it is invisible. Okay, here... Uh, O to D and O to C. Okay, O to D and O to C is nearest to the viewer. Therefore, it is visible. Therefore, I'm going to connect by using a visible line. O to D and O to C. Okay, uh, we can show the axis line also. Okay, draw the projection line from O1. Q1 is here. Okay. You can show the taxis line from here to here. Okay. This is O1 dash. Okay. This is uh, stage one, stage two. Stay free. Thank you.